Hi everybody. Thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. It is time for Friday Flower Pop. I am so excited about doing this Gemma series and the gem of the month is Aquamarine. So you just saw me lay the first color down. That was Pebeo Iridescent Green Blue. The next color that I'm laying down here is Golden Cobalt Turquoise. And after the Golden Cobalt Turquoise, I am going to put down some Artist Loft, just the regular um, fluid Artist Loft paint and in white. I'm trying to tone it down because it is aquamarine. I'm then using some Praj Posse um, 2021 Beach Retreat, real pretty color. And the last color that I am using is going to be um, kind of a custom color and it is a chalk paint. So I have a Waverly chalk paint. It's a matte finish. It's an acrylic paint and the color is Peacock. I actually got these at Walmart. And if you saw my shorts video that I put out on Wednesday, Cashmere, that had chalk paint in it as well. So it's a lot of fun using chalk paint. It, it gives it kind of a matte finish when you do this and I love it. And mixing it with the Pebeo, um, I just, um, I really loved um, this flower pop. So I am going through, and again, I added more white I'm really trying to tone this down so that we are in line with the aquamarine stone, which I will show you um, an aquamarine stone. They do come in light and darker colors, so I, I think I'm safe here. But um, let's get this spread out, and I will tell you a little bit of facts about aquamarine, and um, we will blow out some flowers. I will see you there. Okay, I have a lot of paint on this canvas. We're gonna tip some of it off really quick. And I am actually going to do something a little different. I'm gonna swipe with Floetrol, just plain old Floetrol. I've never done that. I know there are several artists that have done this and I'm just gonna go ahead and, and give it a try. I really love the color of this um, background and I didn't wanna really do a whole lot with it. So that's why I said, you know what? Floetrol is gonna dry clear. Let's give it a try. So I'm just torching it really quick and I am going to go ahead and dampen a shop towel. That's what I'm doing here. Once I see that it settles on the paper towel, I'm gonna to go fast and I am going to go um, low. I guess that wasn't as fast as I usually go. So let's say slow and low. <laughs> Um, it does depend on how the paint feels as I'm pulling it. You know, if I'm dragging too much paint, I kind of slow up a little bit. So the great thing about the Aquamarine, we all know it's the birthstone for March, but it's also the gem for the 19th anniversary. Um, Aquamarine, it was named for its resemblance to seawater. So that made me feel pretty great because I do think this definitely looks like the color of seawater. And the gemstone was once believed to give its wearers protection during battle or in litigation. So um, that's really good to know. Um, I, I was so amazed when I was doing um, these uh, gemstone series, these gemstones, learning a little bit about them makes you wanna have all of them. They all have some really good qualities to them. Um, I do know that aquamarine represents happiness, hope, and everlasting youth. So I definitely think I'm gonna get an aquamarine stone. Um, and you know, in the ancient times, aquamarine, aquamarine was thought to protect those at sea. It was believed to make the sailors fearless and safe from adversaries on the open waters. I thought that was really cool. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed those facts about aquamarine. I hope you enjoy this flower pop. This was so much fun. I am actually using um, my puffy, of course, but I am using the um, 
it's artist loft just the artist loft um you know the white paint nothing fancy i mixed it with um three parts floetrol one part water it's a little bit thicker than i normally do for blowing out the flowers now the paints themselves were two and a half parts floetrol to one part paint and i did add water to those this time what i'm finding is that the Floetrol has been so thick, um, I'm having to add water because I'm noticing that my stems are not holding and the flowers are really sinking in. So I had to, I had to adjust like we all have to do sometimes. So anyway, I am going to um, go ahead and blow these flowers out and I look forward to talking to you at the next step. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I love to hear from you and I'm so thankful to have all of you that continue to support me and watch me each and every week. Um, all of you that have tried these flower pops, it just warms my heart. Um, I've been doing them for some time and to see other people like um, the flowers and like trying them, it, it's just so humbling. So anyway, please um, sit back and I can't wait to show you the final results and what I decide to do in the end. I will see you there. Okay, so I realize my canvas isn't in full view, but I'm taking a bottle of the White Artist Loft and I'm just literally, it's got the Floetrol in it and I'm just trying to make some leaves. So I fiddle faddle with this for a while and when I, the final results, my husband did not care for the leaves at all. And so I said, well, let's um, let it dry and then I will play with it in it. I'm so glad that I did. So now I'm just trying to um, create the leaves and I don't want to bring any other green or anything into this since aquamarine really is a lighter, lighter tealy color. So um, I, again, I just love how these chalk paints, it's a different look um, in real life. All of the background is a matte with a lot of distinction. And then the flowers where you see the round dark at the end of each flower, that is the Pebeo. And it just, it, it has a shimmer in it when you move it. I, I just love it, but okay. Um, I am going to show you um, how I wrap this up and I cannot wait to hear what you think. See you there.
me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me Okay, look at these dried results. It turned out amazing. Who would have knew that Floetrol was going to create such a translucent cover? It's got the shimmer to it, aquamarine. This is a beautiful stone. It represents March, and I am so thankful to have each and every one of you watch and continue to support me on this YouTube journey. And the flower pops are just part of who I am on this channel and I just love each and every comment that I get and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. So take care till next time.